a young person who has done great, great feats in this city. And plus, Dallas also has a national mantle. So um, I wanted to turn over uh, the program, but I wanted to give the proper introduction because some people might not know Ambassador. Ambassador's um, name actually fit his character and his personality. And I'm honored and blessed that he is here to pour into these lives. So um, I really want to let you be free and what you got to say and do it and, and let us know um, how we can go to the next level in this thing. <clears throat> First of all, I'd just like to say thanks. Uh, even having me, my whole crew here. Um, I chose to be an ambassador as like, my brother here. Um, you know, just a representative of Christ through hip hop music primarily. Um, but sometimes just doing this, just getting down and looking at young people, peers, eye to eye, and just seeking to do something that I think is, um, you know, a, a lost art today. And one of the things about drugs is most of us can admit that it's harmful. The only problem is drugs, the harm in drugs is that it also has this strong pull, this, this, this pleasure side to it that it seems to attract as well. To the point where once it has you hooked, no matter how much harm you see it doing, you seem to not be able to wake up to the harm because you're going to sleep by its pleasure side. One of the things about X to see that they're really nervous about is that they can be able to package it like candy. So the very thing that people are hooked on that's going to hurt them comes in such an irresistible package that there are people who will take that over the fact that you are being free from its ramifications. Like that sin, the Bible says, if I can use that as my authority, the Bible says that sin is pleasurable for a season, for a time. The thing about sin is it'll take you to hell, but the only thing is before you get there, it'll so thrill you that it would be too late for you to unhook yourself from sin before it's too late. So much of this world is going to hell richer than the rest of us. <laughs> They're going to hell, and I'm using that strong language because at the end of the road, if there was no end of the road, then I wouldn't make a big deal about it. But at the end of the road, the Bible says that sin the verse with death. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the road, that's going to be the result. One of the things that we want to do, myself and people like me, my whole squad, we're trying to display a contentment and a satisfaction with the God you can't see with your eyes. One of the things that we're hoping is that we can combat the pleasure side of drugs, the pleasure side of sometimes crime, the pleasure side of sin itself, by being glamorizing a life hidden in Christ that focuses its attention on what it can't see, but what clearly only has benefits, no downsides. Sin clearly has downsides, but some benefits. We're trying to combat that with being a group of models who make life righteous living attractive, especially to young people. So that means we sit up and we come up with ways to do what, what Nike and what Adidas and what Reebok and, and, and Full Boys, all of them, they sit and they say, Dad, how can we get people to want our stuff? So they go, they scout, they scout for people who become their, 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 their advertising agents. They be like, yo, oh, put this on Kobe, put this on LeBron James, put this on. As soon as people see that on them, they'll get it. We're hoping that we'll be such men of character that when people see the life of Christ and the life of righteousness, smart living, wise choices on us, that they'll be attracted to that and say, yo, I don't have to just be like X, Y, and Z. I've seen a model of the opposite look just as attractive. 